Hi everyone. Today in this video we will see how we can create an infinite scrolling image carousal in Power Apps. I have written a step by step article on C Sharp Corner. I will provide you the link in the video description. So let's get started on how to create an image carousal in Power Apps. So the first step is to create a collection where we are storing the image path and the order of the image. So this could be your SharePoint list attachments as well. So you just need to create one collection with these two columns as an image and order. So for now I'm taking some random images and I'm setting the order. So currently I'm having five images. Also uh, we will use one context variable where we will store the uh, order of the current image. So going forward uh, we will uh, keep updating the um, value in this context variable so that our images will get changed in the carousal. So let's copy this and uh, we will need to put this uh, collection on either in on start of the app or on visible property of the screen. So for now I will keep it in on visible property. Okay. So the second step is uh, add the image control and put this property in the image. So uh, for now I will explain you. So we will put the image width as a parent dot width so that it will uh, cover all the screen. Then we'll keep the height as 400 and X and Y as zero. So let me take the image control. We'll put the X as zero, Y as zero, width as parent dot width and height as 400 okay so now uh, we will put some image over here so this should be a lookup from our collection which is image call so this is a collection name and which image we need to show where the order is equal to current image order and we need to show its image image property so this should show some image but as our um, collection is not initialized because it is written in on visible let me quickly create one screen and navigate to this screen okay now you can see that image is populated so this image has an order of one because our current image uh, value is one which we have defined in the on visible property at the bottom okay so the next step is uh, to add the arrows next and previous arrows so that we can uh, move the carousal so we can add those arrows from here so let me add the next arrow and the previous arrow yeah so I will keep the color as white. And height and width as 40. Okay. So let's align it to the center. Oh, I guess I have added in wrong position. The left should be here, right should be here. Okay. So now uh, we will need to write some logic to change the image based on the click of these arrows. So the main part is just updating this current image, right? So this current image value. So we will need to update it. So for example, I'll copy this and I'll put it here. So on select, if I make it two, it should show me the second image. Okay, it is showing me, right? But now this two should be dynamic, right? So what I need to do is, I will just add some value of this value plus one. So I'll keep increasing this current image value. 
okay so if you see but now what will happen after uh, because we have we have only five uh, images so what will happen after five so after five we need to again switch back to the one right so we will use the max function which is this one so what we will do if the um, current image value is maximum of the order that means five means if current image is five we will set it to one otherwise we will increase it to it uh, we will increase it by one current image plus one right so let me uh, copy this formula and paste it over here so this will uh, now see uh, i will ch uh, click five times now it will start from one again similarly uh, we need to write the formula on the left side as well so in the left side if the current image order is one we will set it to max that is five because we need we will start from the last index again and similarly if it is not equal to a one that means we can decrease it by one that means minus one so let me copy this and put it here so what we are doing here we are uh, uh, decrementing the current image uh, order by one but if it touches to one we will starting from five again okay that is the maximum value of order in the image collection so let's play this yeah you can see that it is now working fine so if i left right so this is working so our image carousal is ready now now uh, if we need uh, if we need to add the carousal indicators as you can see over here we can also do that so for that uh, we will use one horizontal gallery uh, some image controls uh, sorry the circle controls to look like as a indicator we will add some border uh, border to those circle so let's see how to add it so here you can see that uh, we will add one horizontal gallery first this horizontal gallery and we'll set it uh, data set as image collection okay so uh, before uh, before going to this part we will first uh, add the indicators using this part so here you can see that uh, we will add a circle shape and we'll set the height and width as 20 and we'll put a border as 1 and we'll set the color because we want to show a different color for the active image so if the third image is active we will show uh, black for the third indicator so how to do that uh, let's add first a circle okay so let's put the x and y at zero here the width as 20 height as 20 and let's put the template size as uh, let's see template size I will put 20 yeah so now you can see that uh, those dots are uh, ready now uh, we need uh, the width of this gallery to be dynamic okay because tomorrow uh, if we set this much width and if we add more images over here this should get expanded and then should not be a horizontal scroll bar okay so we'll first set the horizontal sh uh, show the scroll bar as false and we'll we need to put the dynamic width so how we can do so every gallery uh, has a concept of template size that means what is the size of this individual item so currently we have set it to 20 that means if five dots are there we will show as 100 100 should be the width so what we can do uh, we will also need to consider this template padding as well okay so uh, we will set the width as we'll count the dots that means count rows in gallery 
so this will give us the uh, 5 now we need to multiply it by uh, galleries template size that means template width and padding okay now you can see that uh, this width is dynamic height you can put because that is not going to change so we'll put it 40 now we need to set the x and y uh, for this uh, gallery so x should be the center of the image so we will set the x as image 2 image 2 dot width divide by 2 so this will be the center of the image but we need to uh, minus it minus the width uh, half of the width of the gallery so I will minus gallery 2 dot width divide by 2 okay so this will be the exact center of the image now we need to put the y so similarly y will be image2 dot y plus image2 dot height so it will come here minus self dot height so that it will look better okay now you can see that these indicators are looking good so we will now change the color as per the uh, uh, this uh, white and black so just click on the circle and go to the color property now we need to see if uh, this item dot order is equal to current image okay so current image order if it is same then we will put uh, let's say um, it should be gray otherwise it should be white like this or to make it look better let me put like this black and white smoke yeah also we will uh, set the border as one and the border color as black now you can see that it is looking better okay so next step is uh, we need to change the image on click of those indicators as well right so if I click on second indicator the second image should appear so for that just click on that circle and go to the on select property and we just need to change that value of the current indicator so we will use update context current image to this item dot order okay so let's see if it works yeah you can see that it is working okay so this part is also done now uh, we need to uh, create some auto scrolling effect so this is a little bit advanced concept so we will make use of a timer and on the timer uh, basis we will auto scroll this carousal so to do that uh, just add one uh, timer over here okay uh, set the timer duration as four seconds that means four thousand we will uh, set the repeat property to on on start property is on and on pause should be disabled now uh, to understand this timer concept you should know about how the timer works so i'll not cover that part so uh, we will uh, just need to reset the timer on click of next and previous button and also on click of those indicators so i will write this uh, I have I have used one uh, context variable timer go which is I am setting as true and false 
and we will use this context variable on the start property of the timer so that it will auto start or it will reset so i'll uh, click on on select property i'll paste it here so the timer name is uh, here so we'll use this let me explain you what this code does so we are first setting the timer go as false why we are doing this because uh, let's say our timer is running uh, it has completed two seconds and in between if we click on this arrow okay so it will show the next image it, it will not wait for this timer to get completed four seconds so in that case our next image should again wait for four seconds and it should not uh, go to the next image in two seconds only that's why we are resetting the timer on click of left right and indicators so we will use the same formula on these three uh, controls okay now uh, we will use this variable on start start property okay hmm. also uh, now uh, this will get started now what we need to do when when this timer gets uh, completed that means uh, four seconds are completed for this timer we need to just update the current image value uh, we will need to inc increment it by one similar to what we do for this uh, next arrow so we'll just copy this function and on timer end property we'll put it okay now uh, let me just check yeah so also we need to set this timer go to true on visible property of the screen so that our timer will get auto start so just go to the on visible property and paste this uh, function so this function is just setting the value to true for this variable because we have used this variable on start of the timer here so anything in uh, anything else is pending let me check okay that's it so let's try this uh, i will just go to that screen again and let me run this so you can see that timer is automatically started and on timer end it is changing the image now in between if i click this should reset and it should wait for four seconds again okay so finally uh, you can hide this timer and we are all done so here you can see that uh, we have successfully created a uh, auto scrolling image carousal i hope you have liked this video if so please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and have a nice day